Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how to install Windows 10. It's currently in the technical preview and it's available from the Windows website. And this is the link. The link should be in the post itself. Okay, once you download the ISO, you either burn it to a you burn it to a DVD or you then copy it to a USB and then you boot up your computer. When you boot up your computer, this is exactly the screen that comes up. Okay, we're using the United Kingdom version. Okay, time and currency format, that's fine. For you, it might be a different setting. Okay, as our keyboard has a dollar sign, we're choosing the United States International, and then click Next and Install. If you had already installed but it wasn't booting up, you would have clicked that Repair button that was over here on the previous screen. Okay, it does take quite some time. It can take between ooh, roughly about 15 to 20 minutes to even longer. Okay, read the terms and conditions, accept it, click next. Okay, upgrade if you were upgrading, but in this instance it's a clean install. Okay, we're using a test system with only 45 gig in a virtual machine, so Yours would probably have a couple of terabytes on there, probably. Click New. OK. And Apply. Windows will then create an extra partition for its own. Extra partition, sorry, for its own requirements. OK. And in our primary partition, we'll install Windows. OK. You've got recovery. You've got the system and the reserve partition. Okay, this will now basically copy Windows files, getting files ready for installation, installing features, installing updates, getting finished. It'll just keep going through the list and tick, 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 tick. Then it'll reboot probably once or twice, maybe even three times. And then it will come to another screen. We'll come back to you when it gets to that stage. Okay, basically what happened was it rebooted and now we're at this screen. Okay, you can click on the Use Express Settings, or you can customize. Basically, if you click on Express Settings, you will be agreeing to Microsoft getting a little bit of information back from your computer every once in a while, based on location services or kind of like problems with your computer, etc. Also, you'll be setting up Ping. Okay, uh, we'll go to Customize. So it's there. Okay. Do you actually want to find other PCs and computers on this network? Yeah, might as well in a home. If it's in an office or something, I would say no. Okay, click yes. Okay, update your PC on, automatically update apps. Yeah, protect your PC and your privacy. Smart screen, definitely yes. Send a do not track request to websites I visit in Internet Explorer. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay, check online for solutions. Yeah, you could go for that. Okay, help Microsoft improve products and services. Well, we could click yes, or we could not. Okay, in this case, we'll continue with our privacy settings and keep them as off. Okay, let's go to next. Okay, share info with Microsoft and other services. Use Bing, no. Okay, page prediction. We could have that, but we'll go for no. Let apps use my name and account picture. Uh, privacy again. I'll go for no. Okay, let apps use my advertising ID. Again, no. Let Windows and apps request my location. Location sharing, no. All right, next. Next, set up your account. Okay, your account. Create a local account in this case. Otherwise, you'll be using your Microsoft account. That's either your Live account or your Outlook account, etc. Okay, create a local account. It's better as it's on this computer. Okay, we'll give the username Windows 10 Ninja. Okay, we'll create a simple password. However, for you, we would advise you to use a lengthy password that is a combination of characters numbers, letters, etc. And a password hint, something that will make you remember. Simple in this case. 
Okay, finalizing your settings. Basically, what's going to happen next is it's going to set up all our apps, set up our user account space, and that'll take a few minutes. It'll go through this. It'll keep changing the colors, etc. Okay, basically, after it installed our user space and set up the apps, it just goes to this first screen. And there we have it, Windows 10. Thank you for watching.